smoky, savory, fluffy rice cooked the classic Japanese way. This is my version of yakimeshi. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of What Wednesdays. It's shared here at School of Wok, which is London's premier Asian cookery school. Today, we're going to be making some yakimeshi, which is also known as chahan in Japanese. It's essentially Japanese fried rice. So let's get cracking with it. Um, first off, just got some spring onions here to kind of prep. Um, in terms of the spring onion, we've got the sort of the, the whiter part of the spring onion here and the, uh, the milder green shoots at the top. Just going to get rid of the root here. Now we're just going to prep this slightly differently um, because the white part tends to be a little bit stronger. So we're just going to sort of take our time, slice this up, keep them separate from the green shoots. Now we're just going to prep the green shoots, just again, same thing, just going to finely slice these down. These tend to go at the end of the stir fry. And now I'm just going to heat up my wok so it gets nice and hot. And whilst that's going, I'm just going to talk to you about the rest of the ingredients here. We've got a couple of eggs. Can't do fried rice without eggs. It's one of those classic thingies. So just a couple of eggs in there. We're just going to give it a really quick beat. Really essential that you have a nice hot wok, or if you're not using a wok, use a sort of a large frying pan works just as well. Got some uh, chopped up bacon, you can use bacon lardons, you can use pancetta, something, you know, with a nice bit of fat in there usually works really well because fat is all good flavor, people. And then coming to the rice, we've got some cooked sushi rice. So this has been cooked before and then just cooled down very quickly on a tray. To go on top of this rice, it's a little bit of a cheat from me. Um, I've got some uh, ground up dashi powder here. I'm just going to sprinkle this all over the rice. You can mix the powder with the rice as well. I'm just kind of sprinkling it over the top because it's all going to get well mixed in the wok later on anyway. So that's dashi over rice. You might be thinking, oh, that's kind of weird. But trust me, it is really delicious, full of um, savouriness. Wok is kind of hard, okay? I know it's kind of hard because it looks kind of hard because it's smoking. So I'm just going to go in with a good three tablespoons of oil in there. Just give it a really quick swivel. You want it to be smoking, people, okay? Just gonna go in with the eggs first. Just let that set for about a few seconds and then we're just gonna go in there, scramble it all up. And just whilst it's still setting, just gonna go in with the rice. Going to press out those clumps. Give it a really good stir. Mix it all up and keep going. Keep going. Work those clumps out, baby. So, what's happening essentially, the heat of the wok is really kind of helping you to soften up that rice. At the same time, with this ladle, I'm just kind of pressing everything through. So, very very nicely sort of broken up rice and we're just going to get that straight into this bowl here because what I'm going to do next I'm just going to go get some bacon fried off um, tiny tiny bit of oil because there is still a little bit of that gleaming shine so that tells me that there is a little bit of oil in that wok I'm just going to just add a tiny tiny drop and plus there's going to be plenty of fat in this um, bacon here. Nice smoking wok, bacon in, break it all up. And you know what? Don't touch it for a few seconds. It doesn't need any kind of filling around or anything like that. You just want to get in some nice browning and caramelization on the bacon. And when you think it's nearly on the verge of burning, maybe just give it a toss and then back down again. So essentially just kind of chilling out a little bit, letting the heat do something, which is to cook your bacon, and then occasionally just kind of uh, stirring it. And then back down again. Easy peasy, you don't have to keep stirring, even though it's called a stir fry. So just have a look at your bacon as it's kind of ready. You can see all the fat is kind of rendered off. It's kind of cooking in its own fat. Um, a nice kind of golden color to it. I'm just now gonna get the white part of the spring onions in there. Essentially, just wanna cook it off a little bit 
just so that it doesn't taste raw. So getting rid of that kind of raw oniony taste just literally for a few seconds because that heat underneath that wok is really intense. Now my rice can all go back in and it's now just going to soak up all of the lovely fat flavor from the bacon. And then just before we finish, a couple of things, some um, extra flavor, only if you want, get some sake or some Japanese rice wine. Just gonna get that un around the edges, along with some light shoyu, that's your Japanese uh, light soy sauce. And then just give it a really quick toss again, just to mix through everything. Last thing, tiny bit of your green spring onions. And the last toss there. Try to obviously keep all your food in the wok as opposed to outside of that wok as I've just done. <laughs> right, time to plate up. Very fun thing to do actually, just kind of serving it on a sort of a, in a mound. Just gonna press it down ever so slightly, not too much. Don't wanna break it up too much. And voila, lovely. Chahan yakimeshi Japanese style fried rice. All right, time for a taste test. I'm just gonna get in there with a spoon. Usually I just kind of smash my whole face in there, but anyway, just try to be more civilized today. Mmm. It's definitely got that wok hay, that smokiness from the hot wok. Mmm, really nice. Bacon, meaty, yum. Delicious. But that's it for this video. Do check out the rest of our videos on our channel. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I shall see you next time.